Hi everyone, Kit here. Um, I'm with my friend Elfie. She's just sleeping. <laughs> um, so today we're calming down with Carl in my segment where I'm going to be giving some tips and tricks that I like to do to help calm myself down. You know, oftentimes I can feel very anxious and disconnected and overwhelmed, overstimulated. Um, and these are just some tips and tricks that I like to do to help calm myself down. Um, I thought I'd share with everyone and hopefully it would work and help you as well. So the first tip that I have is called the 333 rule. So the 333 rule means that first you're going to see in the in the surrounding that you're in, you're going to if you're feeling very anxious or overwhelmed or overstimulated, you just sit for a minute, breathe and then you think, "Okay, what are three things in my area that I notice?" So like three things that I can see. So the first thing that I can see is Miss Elfie over here. So that's one. Two is there's a camel to my left, so there's one. And then three, there's this big armoire that's in the corner of my living room, so I can see that. And then the second thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna find three things that you can um, feel. So I can feel this t-shirt that I'm wearing, um, I can feel this Apple TV remote, <laughs> um, and I can feel the carpet that's underneath me. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts about it because, you know, when you can touch things around you, it can, sort of just ground you a little bit. That's just how I, it's just, it's very helpful for me when I just need to take a minute to just like recenter myself. Um, and then the third thing you're going to do is you're going to find three things that you can hear. So one thing that I can hear is my music. <laughs> um, another thing I can hear is the cars going by my house. And the third thing I can hear I can hear the wind chime outside um, and that's just another thing. So this is just something that can help you just take a deep breath and, you know, distract yourself a little bit and think about where I am and what, will, you know, what's happening around me. Um, the second thing I like to do is um, I call it distracting myself, um, but you can do this much, like lots of different ways. Like my favorite way to do it is like going for walks, um, you know, going for a very quick walk can be very, very relaxing, just like getting outside. And, you know, oftentimes it can be very hard for you to get out of bed or get off the couch and get outside. Um, there's definitely been days that it's been hard for me to do. So, you know, just sitting outside in the sun for a little bit or watching the sunset, like, you know, those little things can help manage stress and, and you know, going out for a walk and thinking about what's happening around you and you know thinking about other things can be very very helpful when you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious about things. Other ways I like to do this is listening to my favorite music, watching a TV show or a movie or reading a book, um, you know, just little ways that I can just, you know, take a break from what's happening here and um, just distract myself for a little bit so that, you know, maybe after that, I'll be able to refocus and, you know, think about the things that I have to do or what I'm worried about and be able to process that better. Um, and then the third thing that I like to do is I like to journal. Um, I didn't use a journal. I used to not, um, you know, keep a journal, keep a diary um, because I'm a very fast talker. And usually I would just like talk to my friends or like my mom or something when I'm like not feeling well or anxious or stressed out. But recently I've, you know, journaling has allowed me to like slow down a little bit because I think oftentimes um, when you're anxious and stuff, you can go really fast, your thoughts run really fast. Um, and being able to take a breather and just like write down what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling. And it doesn't even have to be about what I'm feeling, just like talking about my day or talking about something that I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Like just taking that moment for yourself um, to just process I feel is very, very beneficial and it's been very helpful for me. Um, yeah, so those are just some three tips and tricks that I have. Um, I also like hanging out with my cat. If you have animals around, animals are always nice when you're feeling stressed out or overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, just remember that it's totally okay to be stressed out and overstimulated and overwhelmed. Like, 
you know, it's totally normal. And there's lots of ways that, you know, you can take a breather and just, you know, take some time for yourself. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. I hope you, um, you know, might be able to use these tips and tricks or you maybe already use them. Um, yeah, so thank you. Hi Camp Kesem, my name is Maple and today for Calming Down with Carl, I'll be walking you through two of my favorite techniques to reduce stress and anxiety. The first is called box breathing, also called 4444. How this works is if you're ever feeling overwhelmed and you just need a moment to breathe, take a deep breath in for a count of four. Hold that breath for a count of four and exhale for a count of four and hold that exhale for a count of four. You can repeat this up to three or four times and it really helps to settle your nerves and calm down your mind. The next technique is called five, four, three, two, one. How this works is you look around and you think of five things that you can see in your physical space. Then four things that you can touch, three things you can hear, two things that you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. This is really effective at distracting you from something else that may be overwhelming you, and it brings you back to the present moment. Both of these techniques are great because you can do them anytime and in any place. I hope these help. Hello, and welcome to Calming Down with Carl. My name is Nemo, and today I'd like to lead you in a short session of meditation. Now before we begin, I invite you to get comfortable. While I personally find it easier to meditate on the floor, sitting on a pillow, you can choose to partake in this exercise in any area where you feel comfortable. You can be on your bed, in a chair, on the floor, and you can take any position that you'd like that'll help you focus on your mind your breath and your body. If you're new to meditation, I do recommend having something behind your back. That way it'll be easier to focus on your session. I'll give you a few moments to get comfortable and feel free to pause this video if you need some time to get into a good position and hit play when you're ready. Comfortable? Alrighty. Today we'll be doing an exercise called body scanning. As I ask you to visualize a light in your body, it'll pass through various parts of you and you'll be asked to note tensions and feelings and allow your breath and allow your mind to release those feelings and those tensions in your own time. Now to begin, we're gonna start with a few deep breaths with our eyes open so that we can set a pace for our session and prepare our mind for what is ahead. We'll begin with a deep breath in and let it out. Once more, in and out. Now in the next out breath, I'd like to invite you to close your eyes if you're able to help with the visualization of the scan of your body. In and closing out. With your eyes closed, take a moment to set a breathing rhythm that is comfortable for you. As we begin the session, I'd like you to imagine a soft, glowing yellow light right above you at the top of your head. 
now I want you to visualize that light slowly drifting onto the top of your head, passing through your forehead, drifting to your cheeks, and slowly making its way towards your jaw and your neck. As each area this yellow light passes, imagine it releasing the tension from your brow, from your head. Let it soften your cheeks and relax your jaw as it makes its journey to your neck and your shoulders. As the yellow light makes its way to your shoulders, allow it to release any tension. You can imagine that as you exhale with each breath, the tension melting away, fading until it's gone. Now, as the light makes its way to your chest, take a moment to focus on your heart and see how it's feeling during this exercise. Does it feel heavy and closed? Does it feel open and light? Allow your inhale to open your heart and your exhale to rid it of those negative things you've been holding on to throughout your day. With each exhale, imagine your heart is getting a little lighter and each inhale a little more open. Now as the light passes through your arms and through your chest, allow your pain and allow your tension to fade away with each breath. The yellow light pushes away all that tension and pain as effortlessly as wind passing through a tree. As the yellow light makes its way to your waist and your hips, take note of how and where you are relaxing with each out. the yellow light to flow slowly through your hips, into your legs, and towards your feet. With each inch that this yellow light flows, your body becomes more relaxed, more at peace. With each breath, your mind and your heart become more open lighter than they were at the beginning of this session. Imagine the yellow light flowing through you like a gentle creek. And as the yellow light makes its way towards the soles of your feet, allow it to complete its journey. Letting it flow through the soles of your feet and gently trace its journey back to the top of your head. Now take a few moments to take a few more breaths, relaxing any areas that may still feel a little tense. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Take a moment to thank your body for being so patient throughout this exercise. Thank your mind and your heart for opening and thank yourself for going on this journey. This can be a very helpful exercise if you need to take a second and understand the origins of your feelings or your tensions in any situation you may face. It can be done at your own pace in your own time can be as long as you want, 
or as short as you want, but make it your own. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hello again, it's Nemo. I wanted to share another strategy for how I personally deal with stress. So this strategy takes less than a minute. So if you need a quick way to calm down or elevate your mood, I recommend the dragon's breath strategy. Now this one is really easy. All you have to do is make a Y with your fingers and then you're gonna cover one of your nostrils. Then with the open nostril, you're gonna inhale. Then you're gonna switch covering the other nostril and exhale. Inhale, switch, exhale. And you're gonna continue that for about a minute and you'll start to notice your breathing gets more under control. You'll feel your mood elevate a little. And it's just really a great way for dealing with stressful situations in a pinch. So hopefully that helps.